Hello Youtubers, welcome to my Nasdaq YouTube channel, this is Johnny. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use OpenWRT home router I installed a couple months ago to dynamically update your Cloudflare DNS record with your home router's internet IP. In my previous video, I already showed you same thing using Python script installed in uh, Linux VPS. If you didn't see that, you can check from this video. But today it's different. I'm going to use OpenWRT, which is much easier. You just need to use OpenWRT's web GUI to do same things, install two packages, do some configurations with Cloudflare API. Let's start it. There are four steps we need to follow for this task today. First step, we're going to install OpenWRT packages. Software. We're going to search the packages we need it. We couldn't find any right now. Let's do updating list. It won't take too long. Dismiss the window. Then you can see there's a lot of packages shows up right now. Lucy app, DDNS, we need that. There's a um, couple of dependencies. Click install. Dismiss the message. Install second package. DDNS script Cloudflare. Dot com dash v version four. Now you can see after refresh the pages, you will see this dynamic DDNS options on the services. Now we need to configure our Cloudflare. We need to have DNS record, which one we should add it in. Um, we're going to add a new A record. Let's call it um, DDNS. I'm going to put 8.8.8.8 this fake IP in there. So eventually what we're going to achieve is our OpenWRT using Cloudflare API to dynamically updating our home router's internet IP to list a record. We need to continue to configure our API. Go to my profile. API tokens, API key, we have global API key, which we will need that API key, it will be used in the next screen. Now we need to add this API key into our OpenWRT and configure DDNS. So that's our step three. Add it. Choose cloudflare.com dash version four.
This is DNS Cloudflare login name. So let's Cloudflare username, password. It's that global API key. You can click enabled and save and apply. Advanced settings. We change it to URL, so URL to detect using check IP dot DNS dot com. Save and apply. Click start, then we got a PID. So this process started. Now, last step, we're going to check our DNS record to see if a change has been applied to it. Go back to Cloudflare, go to that DNS. Still not changed it yet. Let's wait a bit and then we will check it back again. Let's refresh the screen again. So I disabled the proxy status, not using proxy. So when we go back here, we can see we already find out our real IP is 8.8.8.8. But for some reason, it still cannot be updated. Let's take a look at logs. We can verify the status using log file viewer. Click read. And there's a bunch of logs. We can take a look here. Domain. And DDNS. Lookup host. Cloudflare. Login username. Couldn't detect zone ID. Back to overview. To start, we should have a process ID here. Once we have process ID, then we can go back to logs to check the settings. To update the needed, but uh, the script which is running to update DNS record isn't working. They couldn't detect zone ID for domain.tld. So when we go back to our view, we're going to check the settings, basic settings. 
and then I found out this domain here. We need to change it to at ddns at 51sec.eu. That's a game breaker. So if you put this using your domain, it won't work. I test that. But if you put the list, you can see how the magic is happening. Let's save and apply. Back to overview. One four five nine zero. Let's take a look here now. Content is still not changed yet. Take a look, log view reader. Yeah, that's why they couldn't detect from ID. But since we are changing that, let's do disable settings and then the starter service. Same, same to apply. And enable it. Back to overview. Start the process. We get the process ID, PID. Then we can check logs again. Now you can see force update successfully. Refresh the page. We got the changes. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.